Hello, in today's Spinosaurus episode we are going to talk about a dinosaur that lived in what now is North Africa during the Cenomanian to Upper Turonian stages of the late Cretaceous period, about 99 to 93.5 million years ago. This genus was known first from Egyptian remains discovered in 1912 and described by German paleontologist Ernst Stromer in 1915. The original remains were destroyed in World War II, but additional material has come to light in the early 21st century. Spinosaurus is known to have eaten fish, and most scientists believe that it hunted both terrestrial and aquatic prey. Evidence suggests that it was highly semi-aquatic, and lived both on land and in water much like modern crocodilians do. Since its discovery, Spinosaurus has been a contender for the longest and largest theropod dinosaur. Its length estimates vary between 11 meters up to 18 meters in length, and weight estimates are between 4 metric tons up to even 21 metric tons. It was as long as average modern-day humpback whale, but weight was only half of it. The skull had a narrow snout filled with straight conical teeth that lacked serrations. There were six or seven teeth on each side of the very front of the upper jaw, in the premaxilla, and another twelve in both maxilla behind them. Very tall neural spines growing on the back vertebrae of Spinosaurus formed the basis of what is usually called the animal's sail. The neural spines were slightly longer front to back at the base than higher up, and were unlike the thin rods seen in the Dimetrodon, contrasting also with the thicker spines in the Aranosaurus. The sail may be an analogue of the sail of the Permian synapsid Dimetrodon, which lived before the dinosaurs even appeared, produced by convergent evolution, meaning that they both evolved the sail independently. First fossils of Spinosaurus were found in 1912 in the Baharia formation of Western Egypt. It consisted of a partial skeleton, and was identified in 1915 to a new genus and species, and became the holotype of Spinosaurus. Unfortunately fossils were destroyed in April of 1944 in a British bombing raid of Munich. Additional fossils were found in 1996 in Kem Kem beds of Morocco, However there were different than holotype fossils, but it was described as a subspecies of Spinosaurus. Over the years multiple fossils were found in this location. Another fossil was found in 1998 in Algeria, and consisted of a partial snout and teeth. In 2002 partial teeth were found in Shanini formation of Tunisia. In year 2007 teeth found in Ikar formation in Niger were tentatively referred to Spinosaurus. The function of the dinosaur's sail is uncertain. Several hypotheses propose that it was used for thermoregulation. The sail's large surface area could have been used to absorb heat, meaning that would imply that the animal was only partly warm-blooded at best. It's also possible it was used in opposite way, meaning it was used to radiate excess heat from the body, giving the sail same function as modern-day elephant ears. It's because of Haldane's principle, that says that large animals face greater problems of dissipating excess heat at higher temperatures than gaining it at lower. Many elaborate body structures of modern-day animals serve to attract members of the opposite sex during mating. It is possible that the sail of Spinosaurus was used for courtship, in a way similar to a peacock's tail. Scientists speculate that the size of the neural spines may have differed between males and females. It is unclear whether Spinosaurus was primarily a terrestrial predator or a piscivore, as indicated by its elongated jaws, conical teeth and raised nostrils, similar to that of a modern-day crocodile. It is believed that it led a semi-aquatic lifestyle, hunting both on land and in water. It is speculated that Spinosaur had pressure receptors in its snout, allowing it to hold its snout underwater, and detect swimming prey without seeing it. Studies also discovered that Spinosaurus was not able to fully submerge in water, meaning that it was only able to hunt in shallow water. The way its body was built also refutes the idea that Spinosaurus was a chase predator. 
Its hunting habits were probably similar to that of modern-day alligators and crocodiles, remaining in water for long periods of time while hunting.